what is up gang welcome back to the show a speaker's lab what's good the gang is back and guys it's been such a bad day here dude oh my i'm not having a good day dude so first of all we made a normal video and i put it up just a little while ago and i went to check on it to see if it was done and it said hi your video is super inappropriate and like that means like i swore in it a bunch or like i i don't know took my pants off i did none of those things let me remind you guys have i ever swore in a video no it's just bizarre dude i'm just like ah it sucks but you know what guys we can do another one real quick and there's actually something i've been thinking about doing lately that i thought like hey let's just do it right now um while i wait to see i mean no one's gonna like get back to me at youtube youtube is like I, I picture them, they're this giant company, and I picture like five people at a desk like answering emails. <laughs> like, we'll get to them eventually. Whatever, guys. Anyway, let's get in here and do something that, like I said, I've been wanting to do. On our other account, we 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 called something Scrub of the Day. And Scrub of the Day means, you know, we picked somebody out and sort of made fun of them, but it's all in good fun. Like, we're not really trashing on anybody. anybody. But over here, I've always sort of wanted to look at the people who attack us because... Well, to be honest, I do it anyway. I look at people's stats all the time to see like, you know, have they gotten to 2 billion gold grab? Have they gotten like over 10 million dark elixir in, the, in their lifetime? Like, look, look, let's look at our stats real quick. Um, you know, I've got a thousand war stars. Kind of cool, but like average, whatever. Uh, and you know, the gold grab, the elixir I spade. I like to sort of compare myself to other people and just sort of like, I don't know, at this point, I guess we're like exposing their stats out to the world. I've definitely seen people do that in other games and I don't know, it's kind of fun to do over here. I kind of like it anyway. So I especially like to do it against the people who attack us because look, they're high in the game. If they're attacking us, they've been playing a while and they can take it if we make fun of them a little bit, okay? Cool. Hey, also guys, can you see this like beam of light coming in the window? Dude, I'm never, I'll just ignore it. I'm never recording a video right now. It's like later in the day. It's like past 5 p.m. So the sun is like right there. Cool, let's go. All right, I'm probably not even gonna edit this video actually. So, hey, we're still here. Um, What do you guys wanna watch? So one of the most uh, exciting things to me watching our replays recently have has been, look, we have so much dark elixir all the time and sometimes people actually get it so let's let's look at it guys um i guess we could start at the top no no let's start on this one glimpse have we seen this one i don't think so let me go down and see and see if we've seen any of these right there dude big cheese we completely show that in video once i remember that name isn't that funny man that's like so much there's so much useless info up here big cheese why do i know your name why do i know you homie i know you Get out of my get out of my head. Okay, guys, let's go up here. Uh, which one? Oh, glimpse right here. All right, let's check it out. Cool. So, man, this is wild, right? This will never get never get old to me. Uh, all the loot is pretty low or pretty average, except for the dark, which is nine thousand seven hundred and ten. Oh, <laughs> okay, great. So let's see what they can do, man. This is kind of a cool army too. I mean, this person, you know. As we just said, if you're up here in trophies, you're probably pretty good. And if you're a Town Hall 12 that's like farmed their base all the way to max, you're pretty good. I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that one. So, um, wait, let me move my camera over. It's sort of slipping here. Anyway, uh, what? Did I just see the king get roasted? What was the point of that? Man, okay, we all make mistakes. Who knows? That's just crazy. But you know what I'm seeing right off the bat here, guys, that we've talked about a million times. When you attack this side of the base, you do really good. People who attack this side of the base do really good. And people who attack this side just seem to get <laughs> just beat down. And I don't know why that is, really. But it's just more obvious to attack this side, where the free dark is, where the town hall is. People get knocked every time they go over there, though. Maybe it's the fact... You know what I bet it is? I bet, like, if you attack from this side, you're gonna get stuck in this hallway, or at least a, a lot of your troops are gonna get stuck in this hallway here, or any of these hallways over here. And they're gonna get, just get, you know, they're just gonna get beat on by the Infernos and everybody else. And, you know, maybe even that swirly trap. That thing sucks. <laughs> anyway, um, what did I do with my drink, dude? Oh, crap. I had a drink up here earlier when we were doing our normal video. I must've taken it downstairs. Dying of thirst over here, gang. <laughs> what? What is this? Was that an ice golem? Did this person have an ice golem? Yeah, they did. Cool. And ice golems are so cool. I gotta start using them again. I haven't used them in so long. They're so fun. Anyway, um, is this actually gonna work? 
No. Stop it. No. Yo, this is this is the 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 best part about witches. The only part about witches that is cool. Look, when you get to the end of a raid, they just crush. They are so good at like one v one against you know any defense except for like a whiz tower or whatever. But they're so good, dude. Oh, <laughs> except for bombs. They're not good against bombs. One little bomb just just took them out. That was great. So guys, that's it for this one. Um, let's see. Yeah, they got all the dark. That's incredible. <sighs> Wild. Um, Glimpse, thanks, my dude. We're gonna check out your stats real quick. I bet Glimpse is pretty dope. Um, where are they? Melting pot. Cool. Okay. Let me point out the things <laughs> that I see that are absolutely insane. Okay, first of all, they're they're all time highest trophies. They're like ours. I think that is within like five trophies of ours. I think we got to like 5,070 and we're like, okay, we're done. Looks like they did the same exact thing. And their their level is just massive. I think it's even bigger than ours. Look at those war stars though. This person is an absolute beast. Shouts to Glimpse, that's awesome. Uh, let's go down and see their farming though. You can't do war without farming. And it looks like they are also beast farmers. That was a complete lie. You can't do war without farming, can you? <laughs> Not in my world. I mean, I feel like, you know, if you were to just jam all your troops and heroes to max, you're not gonna be that good of an attacker, right? Am I right? In that? I, I think so. Uh, Unbreakable, that is one of the hardest. Like if you're if you're a person who wants to complete every trophy, that is one of the hardest ones, dude. It's, it's impossible. How do you get 5,000 defensive wins when you can only really get one a day at the most? It's crazy. Right? Think about that. Like that, that would take years. Man, I just realized that. Anyway, uh, everything looks great. What The other one I, I really, actually probably the biggest one in my opinion is the Dark Elixir, the Heroic Heist. Look at that dude. 20 million. And if you guys don't know how big that is, um, I think we just looked at mine, right? What was mine? Let's go back and check it out. Uh, but 20 million is dope. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Heroic Heist. 16.5. So 20 million, even better than ours, dude. Uh, what was our level in relation to theirs? It's like the same thing. That's cool, man. That's cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate getting rolled over and just beat by uh, somebody who's, you know, a sick farmer. They've been playing for a long time. You got to assume, right? Like they've been playing a while. Cool. Thanks, Glimpse. Okay, uh, let's look at somebody else, guys. We'll look at one more today. We're not going to be here that long. Yeah, we've already been going like eight minutes on my timer. Uh, and I'm not going to try to edit this video much because mm, I'm very angry. Uh, uh, anyway, guys, let's go. This is a tough choice, dude. Look at these two here. If you guys had to choose which one you think... Get out of my way, Mike. If you guys had to choose which one of these is going to be just the most fun to watch, which would you choose? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys know what I think is, is cool about each one. Okay, the second one down, almost 30 Valks. What's going on there? Why? Why? <laughs> and, and the top one, nine free spells? Nine free spells? You've... Okay, um, you guys want to flip a coin? Hang on. Okay. I got this quarter. Heads, we'll check out Ali. Tails, we'll check out the second one down. The 69% two star. Let's get it. Wait, wait, heads was Ali, yeah. Tails! I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyway, that's great. The 69% two star looks really good. Because of those 27 Valks, dude, what are we gonna do with these things? I mean, legit. What are you gonna do with these things? I'm asking for a friend because, um, well, I happen to have 30 Valks on my other account right now, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I mean, crap, you guys haven't even seen that video yet because it's the inappropriate one. The inappropriate one. Who knows, man? Maybe Lulu did something extremely inappropriate in the video. I don't know, but anyway, in that video, uh, we sort of said that we're gonna, next time we play on that account, we're gonna use 30 Valks. We're gonna see what see what you do with them. So uh, let's see what this person does with them. They really do only have Valks and a queen walk and some wall breakers. That's it. This is nuts. What are you, what are you gonna do now? Like there's nowhere for them to, and they don't even have a siege. I just realized that dude. Wow. When's the last time you saw somebody attack my base without a siege. I can't remember a time. Hit the hit the ability, dude. 
I feel like, I feel like I'm being taken to school here. Like, like this is all above my pay grade. You know, I'm thinking this is not good, but maybe this is exactly what this person wants to do. <laughs> you know, oh, look at this dude. They're actually getting those box in. Okay, those ones over there got roasted. Absolutely roasted. But these ones, let's see what they can do. Cool. Whoa! Okay. The raid's slowing down for sure. All the spells are down. Once all the spells are down, it does, you know, it kind of is the end of the raid, honestly. It's like the end of the fun part of the raid anyway. Um, yeah, my mom texted me. I should text her back, but mom, we're doing important stuff over here. I'll text you back soon. <laughs> so guys, uh, it looks like that's it. I'm surprised that... I don't know. I think this might have been one of the rare times when this person should have just bombed over into this section. Like, this is the danger zone. I'll be honest. If you go over here, you're usually going to get got. But this person had max everything. Right? Yeah. This I think it would have worked good. But they didn't have the siege. That is so weird. You know, I would assume that that was an accident. Whoa. See that, like, turkey leg kick Lou just hit? <laughs> Maybe that was the inappropriate thing she did earlier. I'm going to blame it on you, Lou. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh, I was saying, I think it was probably an accident, honestly. Anytime I don't have a siege, it's an absolute accident, and I'm furious. I start the raid, and then I'm like, wait, what? I don't have a siege? Yeah. Anyway, guys, let me put my trusty quarterback. I've got a bunch of coins in here that are not from this country. This one's from Canada. Oh, this is a toonie, right? Isn't this what you guys call a toonie? The two, two dollar Canadian coin? Toonie. Cool name. I think that's what you call it, right? Anyway, we're gonna go back to base, guys, and peace out for today. Oh, we gotta look at their stats first. Hang on, hang on. Uh, which one was it? This one. Okay, so sort of low. I mean, I'm gonna say, not gonna say low, but like slightly below average war stars. All right, cool. But look at that level. <laughs> Are you kidding? And look at the, the the trophies are pretty good too. I mean, that's way better than I got. The level is way better than I got. Let's go down. Uh, everything max, except for the few things that I never did either, like barbs, archers. That's funny, man. It's like we all think alike. Two bill, two bill on the elixir too. Dope. <laughs> look at the unbreakable stat, man. I guarantee I have more than that. It's so weird. You know what it probably is? When you used to farm, you used to put your town hall outside and people would take it for free and give you a free shield. That's probably what this is. Cause you know, I'm, I'm probably the same way. I have more than that, but wow. Okay. I need to take a picture of that. Can you guys see that number? 27, almost 28 million dark elixir looted. This is my hero. This is my new hero. That's so sick. Wow, man. I guess that's all I really care about is is that one. You know what I like about the Dark Elixir one? It never stops. Like, the gold and the elixir counters, they stop at 2 billion. Well, maybe the dark does too, but nobody's got the 2 billion yet. So, like, you really get to see how hardcore of a farmer somebody is because, you know, even if you don't need Dark Elixir anymore, you're still getting it. And it's still counting. Dope. You win today. Uh, what was this person's name? Oh, I don't know. Um, We'll call you 242. Thanks, buddy. You uh, you win today. You're a hardcore farmer in my book. We love you, buddy. Anyway, that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for coming out, even though this was a weird day where we didn't exactly do what we wanted to do. We still saw you guys. Still said what's up. I'm cool with it. So, uh, you know what? We're actually going to do this more in the future when I've actually, you know, planned out what I want to do. This felt a little rushed, but... I think it was fun. It's fun to see where everybody else is at. And, you know, we should have actually looked at people's bases, too. Kind of forgot about that part. We'll do that next time, guys. But anyway, for today, leave two for Lulu. Let us know how you guys are doing in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.